2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Due to the length of this sub-element, it has been split into two parts. Part 1 of sub-element E9 Antennas and Transmission Lines, 8 Exam Questions 8 Groups. Basic Antenna Parameters, Radiation Resistance, Gain, Beam Width, Efficiency, Effective Radiated Power. What is an isotropic antenna? Answer, a theoretical, omnidirectional antenna used as a reference for antenna gain. What is the effective radiated power relative to a dipole of a repeater station with 150 watts transmitter power output, 2 dB feed line loss, 2.2 dB duplexer loss, and 7 dBD antenna gain? Answer, 286 watts. What is the radiation resistance of an antenna? Answer, the value of a resistance that would dissipate the same amount of power as that radiated from an antenna. Which of the following factors affect the feed point impedance of an antenna? Answer, antenna height. What is included in the total resistance of an antenna system? Answer, radiation resistance plus loss resistance. What is the effective radiated power relative to a dipole of a repeater station with 200 watts transmitter power output? For dB feed line loss, 3.2 dB duplexer loss, 0.8 dB circulator loss, and 10 dBD antenna gain. Answer, 317 watts. What is the effective isotropic radiated power of a repeater station with 200 watts transmitter power output, 2 dB feed line loss, 2.8 dB duplexer loss, 1.2 dB circulator loss, and 7 dB antenna gain? Answer, 252 watts. What is antenna bandwidth? Answer, the frequency range over which an antenna satisfies a performance requirement. What is antenna efficiency? Answer, radiation resistance divided by total resistance. Which of the following improves the efficiency of a ground-mounted quarter-wave vertical antenna? Answer, installing a radial system. Which of the following factors determines ground losses for a ground-mounted vertical antenna antenna operating in the 3 MHz to 30 MHz range? Answer, soil conductivity. How much gain does an antenna have compared to a half-wavelength dipole when it has 6 dB gain over an isotropic antenna? Answer, 3.85 dB. What term describes station output, taking into account all gains and losses? Answer, effective radiated power. Antenna patterns and designs, E and H plane patterns, gain is a function of pattern, antenna modeling. In the antenna radiation pattern shown in figure E9-1, what is the beam width? Answer, 50 degrees. In the antenna radiation pattern shown in figure E9-1, what is the front to back ratio? Answer, 18 dB. In the antenna radiation pattern shown in figure E9-1, what is the front-to-side ratio? Answer, 14 dB. What is the front-to-back ratio of the radiation pattern shown in figure E92? Answer, 28 dB. What type of antenna pattern is shown in figure E9-2? Answer, elevation. What is the elevation angle of peak response in the antenna radiation pattern shown in figure E9-2? Answer, 7.5 degrees. How does the total amount of radiation emitted by a directional gain antenna compare with the total amount of radiation emitted from a theoretical isotropic antenna, assuming each is driven by the same amount of power? Answer, they are the same. What is the far field of an antenna? Answer, the region where the shape of the antenna pattern is independent of distance. What type of computer program technique is commonly used for modeling antennas? Answer, method of moments. What is the principle of a method of moments analysis? Answer, a wire is modeled as a series of segments, each having a uniform value of current. What is a disadvantage of decreasing the number of wire segments in an antenna model below 10 segments per half wavelength? Answer, the computed feed point impedance may be incorrect. 
practical wire antennas, folded dipoles, phased arrays, effects of ground near antennas. What, what is the radiation pattern of two one-fourth wavelength vertical antennas spaced one-half wavelength apart and fed 180 degrees out of phase? Answer, a figure 8 oriented along the axis of the array. What is the radiation pattern of two one-fourth wavelength vertical antennas spaced one-fourth wavelength apart and fed 90 degrees out of phase? Answer, cardioid. What is the radiation pattern of two one-fourth wavelength vertical antennas spaced one-half wavelength apart and fed in phase? Answer, a figure 8 broadside to the axis of the array. What happens to the radiation pattern of an unterminated long wire antenna as the wire length is increased? Answer, the lobes align more in the direction of the wire. Which of the following is a type of OCFD antenna? Answer, a dipole fed approximately one-third the way from one end with a 4 colon 1 ballon to provide multi-band operation. What is the effect of adding a terminating resistor to a rhombic antenna? Answer, it changes the radiation pattern from bidirectional to unidirectional. What is the approximate feed point impedance at the center of a two-wire folded dipole antenna? Answer, 300 ohms. What is a folded dipole antenna? Answer, a half-wave dipole with an additional parallel wire connecting its two ends. Which of the following describes a G5 RV antenna? Answer, a multi-band dipole antenna fed with coax and a ballon through a selected length of open wire transmission line. Which of the following describes a ZEP antenna? Answer, an end-fed dipole antenna. How is the far-field elevation pattern of a vertically polarized antenna affected by being mounted over seawater versus soil? Answer, the low-angle radiation increases. Which of the following describes an extended double ZEP antenna? Answer, a center-fed 1.25 wavelength antenna, 25 eighths wave elements in phase. How does the radiation pattern of a horizontally polarized three-element beam antenna vary with increasing height above ground? Answer, the takeoff angle of the lowest elevation lobe decreases. How does the performance of a horizontally polarized antenna mounted on the side of a hill compare with the same antenna mounted on flat ground? Answer, the main lobe takeoff angle decreases in the downhill direction. Yagi antennas, parabolic reflectors, circular polarization, loading coils, top loading, feed point impedance of electrically short antennas, antenna Q, RF grounding. How much does the gain of an ideal parabolic dish antenna change when the operating frequency is doubled? Answer, 6 dB. How can linearly polarized Yagi antennas be used to produce circular polarization? Answer, arrange two Yagis perpendicular to each other with the driven elements at the same point on the boom fed 90 degrees out of phase. Where should a high-Q loading coil be placed to minimize losses in a shortened vertical antenna? Answer, near the center of the vertical radiator. Why should an HF mobile antenna loading coil have a high ratio of reactance to resistance? Answer, to minimize losses. What usually occurs if a Yagi antenna is designed solely for maximum forward gain? Answer, the front-to-back ratio decreases. What happens to the SWR bandwidth when one or more loading coils are used to resonate an electrically short antenna? Answer, it is decreased. What is an advantage of using top loading in a shortened HF vertical antenna? Answer, Improved radiation efficiency. What happens as the Q of an antenna increases? Answer, SWR bandwidth decreases. What is the function of a loading coil used as part of an HF mobile antenna? Answer, to cancel capacitive reactants. What happens to feed point impedance at the base of a fixed length HF mobile antenna when operated below its resonant frequency? Answer, the radiation resistance decreases, and the capacitive reactance increases. Which of the following conductors would be best for minimizing losses in a station's RF ground system? Answer, wide flat copper strap. Which of the following would provide the best RF ground for your station? Answer, an electrically short connection to three or four interconnected ground rods driven into the earth.